This is a true story. This is absolutely goddamn God's own truth. Gardena, California. Paul Grieco has returned from the military, got a job dealing cards at the Normandy Poker Club, and is settling in to the 1970s. I had a beautiful girlfriend. Polly Rose, a social animal with ample connections to the Hollywood elite. Polly Rose knew everybody. She worked for a stockbroker to the stars. And on New Year's Eve of 1971, Polly took Paul to a party up in the Hollywood Hills. Here I find myself at Jack Nicholson's house. That was the night that I was taking a lot of reds. Reds were a, uh, like a downer. So now I'm so fucked up on reds. All I know is I got a pair of Levi's on, nice shoes, nice leather jacket. To make a long story short, I fall in the swimming pool. My, my foot is broken or whatever. They leave the party. Paul's insurance covers the doctor's bills for his broken foot, except for a hundred bucks. But Polly has Jack's number to see if he'll cover the difference. She said, call him, he'll cover it. She dialed the number, I said, hey Jack. Yeah, you remember me? Uh, uh, this is the guy that fell in your swimming pool, you know, on New Year's Eve, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I said, well, my insurance covers everything but $100, and he goes, yeah, well, everybody asks me for bread. Bread is money. And now, mind you, I felt like a stupid fucking idiot. I didn't get no money or nothing. Well, we sued him. We ended up suing him. Oh, yeah. We sued him for like $25,000. I remember Mitch Geffen, who is David Geffen's brother, and fucking handled my case. His office was in Gardena. He was just above the Nordano Club over here in Normandy and Redondo Beach Boulevard. Mitch was a fucking ambulance chief. He was a low life of all fucking lawyers. <laughs> you cool motherfucker. And I remember being in Mitch's office over here on Redondo Beach Boulevard and um, in Normandy. All I know is there was a fucking like a, like a big group of cocaine all smashed out and flaky. And uh, then nobody was stopping anybody. And then you, and uh, well, Mitch was cool, very cool. He was my friend, man. Made me money, and I didn't have to do jack shit.